out They said I won't see you coming Blind side for sure Won't blink now we're standing face to face And I'm as hard to know Ben you'll come out around Hey guys, just back from a long run I had this morning um, today I want to share with you my top tips for recovery following a hard training session. So I'm going to walk you through my typical routine. So the first thing I do immediately following every session is get some protein in. Um, I do that via a protein recovery shake, but you want to make sure you get it in within that 30 minute window right after a hard workout. Got my protein shake. Uh, the next thing I usually do after every workout is take a hot Epsom salt bath. Um, the Epsom salt really, I find, draws out all the chemicals, all the you know bad stuff left over after you really work your muscles. It also kind of warms them up so that um, you can really get a good stretch and, and other recovery techniques after that bath. So I'm a big believer in the Epsom salt bath. So I use a lot of Epsom salt. Um, the goal is you want your bath water to be saltier outside your body so that the salt water draws out all the toxins from your body outside. So that's the theory behind it. Um, and it seems to work for me. Every time I take one, I get out. My muscles feel a lot better than just immediately following a workout. Okay, I'm in my bath. Um, I usually stay in for about 20 to 30 minutes, get my muscles nice and warm and relaxed um, before the next step in my typical recovery routine, which is foam rolling and stretching. Okay, so I finished my bath, and now the next part of my recovery routine usually involves coming down here. I do a lot of foam rolling, a lot of trigger point balls, a lot of self-massage, just work out any of the knots or areas that are tight while your muscles are still warm and relaxed from the hot bath. Usually I start out with the trigger point balls and work out my calves. My calves tend to get the tightest after my workouts, especially after running. I also like to work out the bottoms of my feet just to keep, keep your feet healthy, keep them stretched out. Then I use the foam roller on my quads. This can be a painful one, so you can uh, adjust your own body weight on top, of the, on top of the foam roller. But yeah, lots of work on my quads. Okay, so once I've finished stretching, trigger point, foam rolling, um, usually the last step is I post up somewhere, depending on how much time I have between um, now and the next training session I have. Usually it's either on the couch or I'm up in bed because I know I'm gonna fall asleep and take a nap. I put on my Mark Pro. Um, if you guys don't know what this is, this is a huge thing that I use. I've been using it, I don't even know, six or seven years now. Um, but it just really helps out in that final recovery step. Um, you've worked out any knots or sore tight spots from the trigger pointing and foam rolling, and now this just flushes everything out. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I put this on until literally my next training session. Okay, so that's my typical recovery routine. I do that after every session, in between sessions, at the end of the day, um, recovery shake, Epsom salt bath, trigger point and foam rolls, and then I put my Mark Pro on until my next session. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for tuning in.